So in preparing for today's video, I needed to get this ambulance out, which was in that container, which was under all these other display cases. And wouldn't you know, look what I found. Do you know what that is? Part of my head, that is. Hmm. So I was missing more of that set than I thought. This is what, when Yoda, his head fell on me, that's what happened there. So putting those in there, and now that set should be complete. That's why I couldn't build his, build them back together right. Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brigzar, your home for vintage Lego. And yes, I was trying to decide what to do today, and I went looking for a set, that this set here. This is set 338. It's an ambulance. And it led to me finding a piece of Yoda's head that fell off, uh, like we showed there. But I always thought that this set, I, I don't know why, but it, they look similar. The set 373, I always thought it was the same set, but it's not. They just look the same. They are built differently. And so I'm going to build that one, 373. So I went in a matter of a few minutes from having this like struggle of deciding what I was going to do a video on to having um, more than I can handle and coming up with things that I wasn't even thinking of like, oh no, I'm afraid to build this set now, the medieval market. This thing's been sealed for years. What year did this, this come out? 2009, that dreaded year, 2009. You know, the medieval, me, medieval uh, a lot of times those are, the, are referred to as like the Dark Ages. <laughs> and the medieval market came out in the Dark Ages of Lego. Not from the standpoint that they were making bad sets. But this is the heyday of the brittle blue, brittle browns, brittle red, <laughs> and whatever. And this, ha this set has a lot of reddish brown. Um, and I'll tell you why I, I'm mentioning that. I just got a comment. Let me find this comment. It's from Kill Jones, who says, You're right about it not mattering if brittle, brittle bricks were sealed or not. I got a medieval market sealed last year, built it, took it apart two days later, and a bunch of the reddish-brown pieces broke as I was taking apart. So I think the thing that we can learn from that is, if you got a set from 2009 that has those colors, the reddish-browns, the dark reds, and um, what was the other the blues if you build it make sure you build it and never take it apart again <laughs> uh, so wow and I, I I don't know why I never built this I mean I never this is one of those sets uh, it's one of those beautiful castle sets this is an all-time classic I think especially for the era because uh, after like the early 90s, I kind of lost interest in some of the castle sets, but this one really stood out. Um, I put it up there almost with the uh, the blacksmith shop that we just got, but I haven't built it yet. Man. So, cover a couple more comments uh, from viewers, and then I'm going to build the uh, other ambulance at 373. Uh, another one f was from Netherlands Brick. So, again, this is 338. I'm going to build 373. I thought these were two sets that were the same set with different numbers. And I'm going to talk about another set that had different numbers. And it was uh, from, this is from Netherland Bricks. He's piecing together set 381, which the police station we did a few days ago, set 588. He says it appears to be the same set as 588. <laughs> oh, and then he says, wait, what? You're the only, you only buy from Lego, eBay, Amazon, and Target now? No Brinkley anymore? <laughs> I think I said that, um, talking about where to buy new Lego. I think I left Bricklink off, but I wouldn't buy new Lego on Bricklink anyway. <laughs> but, but it does sound strange. Somebody who buys a lot on Bricklink didn't mention Bricklink um, as a place to buy Lego from. Uh, but anyway, back to the thing about set 381. So the police station, the 588 that we showed in a few videos ago, is basically the same as 381. But somebody also pointed out that I had the wrong printed one by six brick uh, so if you look at the other version of that one by six brick that so 588 came with one version and 
381 had another one with a different, slightly different font. And there's only two versions of that brick. So it's the same set build, basically. They do show like the tree and the light being in different places, but it's, it's, it, looks, it looks like it's the same build. <laughs> they just put some things in different places and they had a different printed piece. At least one print. I haven't looked in detail and I am also wanting to piece together 381. So now I realize, thanks to the comment, I need to make sure that I'm looking for the right pieces if I do piece together set 381. Uh, and we got another question. Oh yeah, we were uh, a few videos back we were talking about why would people buy discontinued sets on Amazon that are ridiculous prices? <laughs> He's um, TimeWorks. Check TimeWorks out. He does videos about strange um, YouTube anomalies. Uh, and, and sometimes they're kind of funny, like somebody who had negative one dislikes <laughs> on a video. Uh, so anyway, uh, he says, I saw someone make the argument that they buy discontinued sets on Amazon because that way they know it's legitimate and secure. But yes, while Amazon can be reliable, it's still not 100%. And so it's overpriced. LOL, it's not worth it at all. That was all caps, that last part, because it's, it's right. I mean, you got Amazon returns, uh, but for instance, uh, my son bought a gas cap because a ga he, he lost a gas cap or something at work, and he had to buy the replacement gas cap. And then they end up finding it. <laughs> so he wanted to return it, but there's going to be like a 20% return. So... Even if you got there's and when you buy from Amazon, you're not always buying from Amazon. You're buying from resellers, and sometimes the resellers send their stock and is fulfilled by Amazon. You're not a you're not guaranteed that you're going to get the legit stuff all the time. Complete sets, you don't know. Somebody could swap it out. They could have sent this set to fulfilled by Amazon and have changed out all the contents and it's fulfilled by Amazon and then it, you get a box of rocks. I don't know. So it's it, Amazon has the same potential for fraud that you have on eBay, but it does have good... Just like eBay, there are protections. You just got to deal with the hassle of getting things made right. But why would you pay more? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right, so let's build this ambulance. I, I got to do the drop, drop mic, and we're not even done yet. So if you'll remember, long-time viewers perhaps, I did a video of this set uh, doing the uh, hydrogen peroxide treatment. It's starting to get a little more discolored now. And again, it's not permanent because it's, you're going to be exposed to air and light and stuff always. Um, but it still looks better than it did when I first did the treatment. Uh, some of those plates are starting to turn brown again. So this is, so I think they had, yeah, it had the same base. I think there's a lot of things similar. I think the doors and the printed 1x8s look like they're about the same. Uh, but the front grill, I think, is where we're going to see the biggest uh, differences in the set. So I collect these, I call are large wheel vehicles. <laughs> um, and simple instructions. Uh, not much to them there. So let's see. Let's what's on here. Ooh, did that, what is that? That looks nasty. So this is two. It's not a sticker, it's a printed piece. It's the odd printed piece <laughs> right there. So those are the sides. All right, let's see how this thing goes. Do you want me, you want to watch me build it? And I can talk while I build. I hope I got the grill. Where's the grill? Where's the grill brick? Oh, don't, don't, don't tell me. Don't. All right, one by eight, one by eight, one by eight, one by eight, one by... Are you kidding me? <sighs> Alright, so this one doesn't have a grill. See that? Uh, huh. This missing. You know what? I think 
yeah it's missing several pieces or at least another piece as well so as i look at the instructions here there should be a one by two i think yeah one by two black brick that is missing the one by six uh grill brick is missing i mean i'm not i'm not overlooking it a one by six and he's also got these here which I think go to this set. So what I think has happened, because you see this doesn't have a one by six. Of course, I don't see the uh, window pieces here either. It's like he's combined two inventories. So, dang it. <laughs> I can't build it. Yeah, there's the window. So he's given me the pieces for set three, 73. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, that was me. He did it right. I was wrong. Dummy. It says it right there on the bag. 338. Oh, so dumb. Brickstar's dumb. All right, so, oh, can we still build it? So what I, I need to do is get the pieces. Oh. Well, I'm relieved now. So I'm looking for the um, the one by six. You notice these all got there's there's two different prints there. That's what um, we're talking about on the other police station. I'm going to try to do this thing, even though I can't find that grill piece. I need a one by two black piece too. I may just have to temporarily put a one by six plain piece. I've looked in a lot of places and I cannot find one. Go ahead and change this out. All right, I finished it as is. So this is the uh, the 338 that I already had. This is the 338 that I converted to 373 needing just the grill that piece in the front. It also comes with a stretcher. There is a stretcher on the inside of this one. Um, these are the parts that are left over after I converted it. I can use those on other sets. So, get the grill. And I went to BrickLink to look at the grill. Brick. Oh, I see. You got embossed print. And so this is the one that is listed as for the set. But if I click over here because there were only three people selling that one and there's more oh wait that's just any color oh. yeah e I'll guess select color white yeah and there's there's only four people with that one so only seven in the world right now on Brickling <laughs> of that grill bricks. So I am going to go place an order for one right now. And I bet you they're all in Europe. I uh, hope some of these... Oh, Slavonia, Denmark, and France. Wonderful. All right. Lesson to myself there. <laughs> Put this uh, stretcher in the back of the ambulance. There we go. So not many of uh, the old large vehicle sets come with an accessory like that. So this is the one with the grill with the headlight bricks, uh, the one by one headlight bricks. This is the one that has the one by six grill pattern that I missing right now that not many people in the world are selling, which I think explains why I couldn't find one. Even though it said it came in more sets, it's odd that this is there's not more of them for sale. I've seen a lot of the red and the blue ones, uh, but not the white. So, yeah, definitely going to place an order for that. So we learned something today, and then we can apply this to a, a lot of things. But I made a mistake on myself, thinking one thing, and you know, I knew I already had this. I thought the 373 was the same set with a different number. It ended up being the same set with... Uh, a few modifications, which I didn't have. I ended up buying the exact same set I already had, but I converted it uh, to this one. But I still need one piece. 
And so, yeah, make mistakes. And that's why I don't necessarily leave negative feedback when sellers make mistake, mistakes. In fact, I, I've been on, as I'm reaching for my, I just knocked the camera. Previous video, I had um, received a train set that had the wrong motor. It had the right style of motor, but it was a 4-volt motor instead of a 12.5-volt motor. I found four sellers in the U.S. selling the motor. I was actually going to try to buy the actual replacement interior motor and, and do it that way, but those are all too expensive. In fact, somebody had one less than $20 and it sold while I was thinking about it. Uh, but anyway, the uh, the actual 12-volt motor, I see a lot of people selling this for low prices, some for high prices. And I found four sellers in the U.S. I have messaged all of those sellers, let's see who responds back, but to see if it actually has the yellow 12 on it versus the red 4. Because previously, years ago, Every time I would message a seller in the U.S., does it have a yellow mark or a red mark? They would always say it had the red mark. <laughs> so I think I actually, wait a minute, I may have got a response here. Let's see if this is a better. Ah, we do have from Brack Brick. Ah, ha ha. <laughs> so we got, we got one. Um, and they say it is a red four. Thanks for your interest. I guarantee you, well, I can't guarantee it, but I am pretty sure that all the other U.S. sellers and a large number of the European sellers, it will actually be the red four instead of the yellow 12. So how do you, tw <laughs> how do you, 12? How do you tell a four volt motor, a four and a half volt motor from a 12 volt motor? The four and a half volt motor has a four on it. <laughs> And the 12 volt motor has a 12 on it. Of course, it is very small print and it's easier to see the color. So that's why I always say the color is the red in the hole. If you see red in the hole, you have a four and a half volt motor. If you see yellow in that little hole, it's a 12 volt motor. And it's like the 17th time I've said this in a video. And every time I find one on BrickLink, I know it's wrong. All right. So uh, this is a Brick Builders Club t-shirt. And this is sad. I guess this is, you know, I was trying to, how does this shirt fit with what I'm doing? It's just all messed up. The printing's coming off of it. It's uh, used the bricks. It's a combination of Star Wars and the MLB logo. Uh, it's a sad brick and I'm a sad sack. So, yeah. See you tomorrow in another t-shirt. Now I can drop the mic correctly.